I'm back from outside and spraying the Mod Podge on my canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and take my heat gun and lightly dry that. Spraying Mod Podge in the wind is not an easy thing to do. So just make sure you take that Mod Podge outside because it does have a big, big smell uh, when you spray it. So let me go ahead and dry this real quick. Now that this is nice and dry, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decide what kind of decorations I want on my image. So for instance, on this one, I did uh, flowers that I thought coordinated really well with this one uh, background that I have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take some flowers that I worked out and see how I want to lay it, which side I decide is going to be up, which side's going to be how I want this. So let me go ahead and just try a couple different ones here. I don't really know if I like it that way. Let's try it this way again. I'm going to decide where you want to place your flowers. I kind of like the layout I had of the last one, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one again here. I'm going to go ahead and take some little leaves that I have in my stash, um, and I'm going to cut those and get those ready. Okay, and sort of cut them in half. You can go to the Dollar Tree and just buy a bunch of fake flowers and stuff. Um, and you can use those on your designs as well. Um, it's a lot cheaper and you can get a wide variety of stuff. Um, I personally have a lot of these silk and paper flowers that you can buy at the craft store. Um, so I just have a big hat box full of these flowers that I just rifle through and, and pick. Now, my greeting that I'm going to put on here, or the sentiment that I'm going to put on here, is this one here. It says, I can't adult today. I just thought it was hilarious and I thought it would go really well with this tired as a mother if I were to sell them. So we're going to take this design, which is a sticker, it's a clear sticker that I bought, um, and I'm going to end up putting this over here. So I'm going to need to go ahead and place my flowers where, in a way that they won't interfere with the greeting too much. I mean, a little bit is okay. Okay, so once you have the placement set on how your everything's going to be, we're going to take a hot glue gun and we're going to go ahead and we're going to get things glued down. So let me go ahead and just get the placement here and make sure I'm happy with everything the way I want it. Okay. Let's see, do I kind of like this purple one up on top? Okay. Now, on this one here, you notice that I did these little black things here. These are actually little stickers that I bought a long time ago from Walmart. And um, I just have little pieces that I have left over from everywhere, from, from all my other projects. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of these stickers and I'm going to go ahead and decorate underneath the flowers, okay? So there's my design that I think I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off these stickers because I like the I like the black. It, it really pops against this colored black background and I'm going to go ahead and take these stickers and pop them on. Come on now, get out there. Huh. Jumped off the sheet onto me. <laughs> And I'm going to go ahead and decide how I want to decorate it. So I think maybe I'll put it up under here like this. So you just sort of eyeball it. You know, the flowers are going to cover up quite a bit. Because this background is gessoed and modge podged, I can peel the stickers back up again easily without any problems if necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down and sort of burnish it with my fingernail like this. Okay. Let's see. So it was sort of like this. Let's see if we can get this back and create it again. See if I want to put any more of these stickers on. Yeah, I think maybe I'll put something maybe down here, maybe this one. Okay. Yeah, let's try that like here. And now the question is, yeah, let's do it this way. So basically you can do whatever you'd like to with your design. If you want to do flowers, butterflies, whatever you decide you want to do. It's really up to you and um, how, you want to, how you want it to be, okay? So let's see, let's try this again. Let's just sort of place it on there and see if I need any more to zhuzh it up a bit. I'm sort of gonna have my thing right here. 
So I'm going to go ahead then and I'm going to lay this down. This way the arrangements of the flowers can be based on my stickers, my, my sentiment. So let me go ahead and pull that off. And you will be able to see the sticker. I mean, it's not going to become invisible on this background, but you can see it. Um, and as you can see on here, you can sort of still see the glossiness of the sticker, but it still um, is nicely um, distracted with the background and with the flowers. So it's not that big a deal for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take my sticker and place it where I think I want it to be. And I'm going to go ahead and burnish it down with my fingers. Okay. And it, as you're looking at it, it just sort of looks like it's fading in and you can't see it. But if you tilt it, you'll be able to see the clear glossies that's on there. But like I said, in the in the long run, it won't really matter because you're going to have all those other fun decorations on it and the sentiment's going to make you laugh. So I'm not too concerned about that fact. So you just go through and burnish it with your fingers. Okay, now let's go ahead and put our flowers back and decide, again, how we want everything to be. Okay, and we'll put this one down here. Okay, and... Sometimes these flowers will not cooperate with me. All right, now I have my leaves, and once I decide where I want to roughly put my leaves, I can go ahead and put those in. Okay, I think I like the flowers in this layout. Question is, do I want anything out here with the black? So let me go through my stickers here and pick out another one. Let's see if I can bring some of the black and silver sticker over to the left side there beneath the purple flower. Let's see how that might look. Yeah, let's do it. What the heck? I can always go back and take it off if I decide I don't want to. Okay, so we had the purple down here. And the green. Okay, it's getting covered up too much, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can take it up and move it over to the left just a tad so that it shows. What was the point of putting it on if it's not going to show? <laughs> now that might be too much, so let me just see here. No, perfect, okay. All right, so now you're going to get out your hot glue gun and you're going to go ahead and determine how everything's going to be for sure. Okay, let's see. Let's do this more up here. And this purple can come up over the green. And this is really just the fussy part, trying to make it so it's all even. All right, so we're going to take the glue gun and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this one down. A little bit of glue on the back. You don't need much. I'm going to go ahead and set that down just enough. I mean, it won't be bad if it covers up the sentiment a little bit. You can still read the sentiment. All right, let's do this green one here. I mean, this brown one. I know my colors. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that down right about here. And I'll let these green ones sort of overlap the brown ones. And vice versa. Okay. And you just keep zhuzhing them the way you want them to be. This green one wants to be on top there. And we'll go ahead and put down the purple. Okay. You can see the sentiment. I can see plenty of the black stickers in the background. So we'll go ahead and do this last one. And let's go ahead and pop that down. Okay. Now, um, I went through my stash of um, fun embellishments and stuff and thought, well, for the centers, it would be fun. On this one here, I did little orange and yellow gems. This time around, I have these pretty little ones here that I thought would be fun to pop on some of them. I mean, I don't have to make them all the same color. So same thing, we're just going to go ahead and put down some hot glue. And we're going to figure out which kind we want in here. I think I'll put a green on this one. And that's going to add a little bit of dimension and sparkle as well. It's making the flowers look more alive. So I think I will do a pink on this one. Really, it won't matter because we have a lot of these same colors throughout the canvas. And so it will end up looking okay. And let's see, what color should I do on this one? I think blue would be too much. So... 
No, what the heck? Let's do a blue. Okay. So now these each have their own little thing, you know, centers and everything. Okay. And now to complete this, I'm going to go ahead and put in my leaves. Got to decide where I want those. How many of them I would like. Let's see, let's try putting one here. A couple down here, maybe. Get in there. Uh, I'm not feeling this one too much here. Hmm. Now I think I need one up here. It's looking naked. <laughs> so go ahead and put that one in here. And go ahead and get this one in here. Okay. So I'm going to go glue those in real quick. It's just going to have to be. <laughs> And stick that puppy in. Get those little glue gun strings. You got to get those out. Go ahead and get one here. Sort of a weird technique I do. I sort of twist the glue gun around like that to get rid of the string. It doesn't always work, but okay. And then down here, we'll go ahead and glue these two down. And then we got to see if my fat little fingers will let the and get in without getting everywhere. So hang on, gotta get my little fingers in there. Okay, there's that one. And this one, now I'm thinking I want it over there up here. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up here. Although that will cover that, so let's go ahead and put it back down here. What the heck? Okay, all right. So you can go ahead then, and that is um, actually how I did it. I just went ahead and um, got my dollar store frame. I took out the glass. I took out the backing here, just like this. Let's put this one in and see how it looks in the frame. So I'll take this other one out since I don't have another dollar store frame. So we take out the glass. Go ahead and pop this in to the frame, just like this. Flip, flip it over real quick to see how it's looking. Okay, and sometimes your flowers may come up um, underneath the edge. You just go ahead and you can take some tweezers and just sort of like lightly pull it up so it looks dimensional um, outside the frame. And then we're going to go ahead and put our backer back on and push it down and fluff it up and voila, we've completed a frame. So the thing that takes the longest on this is probably doing the gesso and, and deciding where you want your flowers and what decorations you want to use. But um, all in all, this took me in real time probably about 20-30 minutes um, to do all this. Uh, that included putting the layer of gesso on and letting it dry. So um, if you've never used gelatos, um, I highly suggest going out and getting some. Like I said, they come in every color. Um, you can do all sorts of techniques with that, uh, ge with gelatos. This is just one of them that I like to use. But um, go ahead and get some and try them out. I hope you like this tutorial. Bye.